welcome to Garrity Talks. My name is Lucia Ongai and I am the co-founder of the Garrity Awards, the creative award that is redefining creative benchmarks. Our guests today are from The Gate, who's our event partner for the Garrity Diamonds Are Forever Barbecue that we will be holding to celebrate our shortlist. The Gate is a modern full service communications company that blends creativity, human thinking, media, data, and tech to ensure nothing gets in the way. The Gate ignores traditional boundaries to help companies walk through any wall that stands between their brands and its audience. And we are here with Jamie Elliott, who's the CEO of The Gate. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Sam. Good to <laughs> Thanks for having Alton, me. with the Chief Strategy Officer. Hi. And Lucas Peon, the Chief Creative Officer at The Gate. So thank you very Hello. much for joining us today. This year, you're celebrating five years since joining The Gate. And since then, you've created a new agency proposition. Can you tell us what Walk Through Walls all about? Uh, I mean, Walk Through Walls is about um, it's you know it came it came to uh, it came together when we thought about the fact that you know if you're in the business of um, building brands, um, it's it's you know there we're living a really exciting time, but we're also living very challenging times. Um, you know because there's never been uh, more walls uh, out there than there 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 are today. So. Um, what we think is that uh, these walls are just a few examples of them could be, um, you know, the walls that we're facing when it comes to the noise, uh, walls of noise, uh, which is, you know, the noise from our competitors, but not only our competitors, but also everything out there that's competing for attention when it comes uh, to us reaching our audiences. Uh, the walls of apathy, which is, you know, not everybody out there is really as interested in brands as we'd like them to be, um, or the walls, um, you know, the actual literal walls that people are able now through technology uh, or through the platforms that they're using to be able to uh, keep advertising away from their daily lives. Uh, so we think that our job is to, create, to, to find or create uh, gates that allow us to, um, you know, to go through these walls. Uh, and this is when, you know, this is how we'd like to think that, um, you know, when you find the gate, you can walk through walls. There's always a gate that we can that we can find to actually uh, connect um, with our, with our audiences, and um, and that's our job. That's where we live, and that's 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 why it is. And it goes further than what we that what our job is uh, that we need to bring for our clients. It, it is also um, you know something that we live by culturally inside. You know, we think that we try to help everyone in our office. Uh, uh, walk through walls, uh, walk through whatever wall they have in front of them, what wall, what wall they're facing. Uh, and this goes, and it's reciprocal. You know, we help one person, the other person helps the other one. And then that's how the agency is able to accomplish what it sets its mind to accomplish. And we, we'd like to think that we also want to make sure that we're doing this for the industry as well. We want to help the industry go through any wall it is it, it may face. Uh, and we want to make Help the industry move forward um, as much as we can in any way, we, in, a, in which way we can. Okay. Mm. And what has been your biggest moment in these five years? Um, I think that's that, that's a really interesting question, and it's not there. There, there are there are moments, um, but. Just to put it in context, the, 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 the agency that we joined, so Kit and I joined five years ago, Lucas joined about three years ago, and we've been on a heck of a journey over that period of time. The agency that we inherited was a relatively niche specialist financial services agency. So very focused on doing a good job, you know, in a very small part of the, uh, uh, of the business. And we have transformed the company over the five years, made it over, you know, the look, the feel, the smell of the agency has changed completely to the point where, um, you know, last year, now, uh, we, were the, we were the top performing small UK, UK creative agency at both Cannes uh, and at DNAD. So we had gone from being a small niche player in a small niche segment to um, some of the best creativity, you know, on a global stage, 
with with global influence so that's not an overnight thing that's not one moment but it is something that we look back on and go with real pride that that is the moment we've created over this five years and you know and i think you know uh, kick and expand on that you've been on the journey all the way all all the way with me um uh, uh and last year felt pretty special as a result i think yeah last year felt really special again it's kind of not one moment i suppose it was one very long moment last year. <laughs> um, but just in terms of that that transformation you know we really had the evidence of it last year so as jamie mentioned obviously um we were recognized they're very highly recognized at can and at, and at dnad but also in lots of other ways too whether it's um winning the tfl diversity and advertising award um an apg creative strategy gold um you know we won big at the marketing society as well so we're being recognized across the disciplines at very different shows recognized by industry recognized by clients and i think the thing that we're most proud of across all of that is that it was for very diverse work. So, you know, it was for campaigns that were tackling mental health. It was for campaigns that were taking on really damaging kind of bodily taboos. It was for campaigns that were taking on ageism. So, you know, difficult challenges, often in quite kind of stigmatized categories, you know, where it's hard to get great work out and it's hard to make an impact. And so we were just really proud of that because we felt like, here, this is walk through walls, right? It's doing, it's living it for real across, you know, in the toughest categories and the toughest challenges and not just one, it's lots of them. So I think for us, although it's not one moment, last year was definitely um, a big moment because it felt like, you know, we'd really, we'd really got that impact and momentum that we were looking for. And did this five years uh, felt longer because of the pandemic in the middle or not necessarily? <laughs> or shorter maybe? No, definitely longer. But we were, I mean, we were, we'll talk about it actually in relation to one of the pieces of work. We certainly relate it. We were, we were very, very fortunate through the pandemic that it gave us this brilliant opportunity on one of the projects, which we'll come on to talk about, to actually enable a production that would have started literally when the pandemic started. It gave us much more time to develop it. And, and the result was you know, so much better than it than it would have been if it had followed the original timeline. We were incredibly fortunate, but it was a very, very long pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> and how has the gate culture evolved? I've heard you have something called ganglos. Can you tell us what they stand for? Yeah, so um, when, we, when we joined, we all felt very strongly that culture was just incredibly important, and, you know, to, to any agency, but when you're trying to transform something. Um, so we were essentially establishing a new culture in the agency. And we've got these things called the gang laws um, because we're a gang um, and we think that, you know, the best agencies feel like a, feel like a gang um, of people. And they are laws, so they are what we are bound by, we recruit against them, we are all appraised against them, we share them with clients who essentially have to sign up, not necessarily that they have to behave like that, but they have to like people who do. Um, and their, you know, their behaviours, I think you know, too, too much culture is just pretty values on a PowerPoint slide, and we wanted to say right from the start, this is about how we behave with each other every single day. Um, and you know, they, what's been really interesting about them is that they've they've endured pretty solidly for the last five years, and then so we had five to start with, and we've just like literally in the last couple of weeks been having the conversation around actually two of them we feel have become so entrenched we don't even need to talk about them anymore, which is which is kind of lovely actually they've just become very natural behaviours so we're gonna make a change feels like a big change in, in five years but now go down to three and so I think for us it's a nice example of you know you do need to stick with things over time to to embed them as behavior but also you need to be open to being flexible and going you know what actually um it's going to work better for us now just to kind of to shift a little bit but they've been they've been phenomenal phenomenal for us and what are the two pieces of work that make you most proud and why so uh, we're going to talk a little bit together about this, but I think that it's hard to pick two pieces of work only, but of the, if, because we're being asked to pick two, uh, one of them, of course, is uh, the work that we did for Childline, uh, uh, not, Nobody's Normal, where 
uh, we took on the myth of normality as, uh, as Kit was explaining before, which is driving an underlying uh, anxiety in, in a huge part of kids today, this feeling that you're the only one that's feeling the feelings that you're feeling, um, you know, the fears, the anxiety. So we were able, as, um, as Jamie mentioned, we were able to create a, a campaign that, uh, you know, became almost like a timeless tale about, um, about how every one of us really, every, every single person puts on a skin uh, every day and, uh, you know, and, and, and tries to live, um, tries to live their days fitting in, uh, appearing normal, hiding our worries, hiring our anxieties and, and hiring everything that we feel um, that we don't share with everyone else. And that, you know, what we felt um, so much here inside the gate and with the client, uh, that was a really strong, um, a really strong uh, story to tell, uh, really resonated with, you know, so strongly, not only here in the UK, but across uh, across the world really uh, it took off in social media uh, people all over the world began reacting positively to the story it 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 it, it, um, it connected with people with the, with our primary target audience which were you know the kids we were we were speaking to but it also connected with everyone it, it went you know across across generations it connected with the parents it connected with uh, with people of older age uh, everybody really celebrating uh, the, 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 the main message of uh, nobody, none of us, uh, n- nobody is normal. Uh, so that one really made us really proud and makes us proud uh, as, as a message. You know, obviously the results of it made us really proud as well. It got us, you know, it was, it was recognized across all the main festivals, uh, award shows in the world. Uh, it, it, you know, it, it put the agency in, in, in you know, in, in people's minds, it, you know, it put the agency on, on, on another level, um, and but most importantly, you know that message is still working hard for the cause today. It's been, you know, it's been shown in in schools across the world, uh, and and you know just stimulating the conversation. Uh, this conversation, which we feel is is so important and um, and and so constructive uh, for you know for the world we live. So, and that was the first one. I got lost. I got lost in the first one, but uh, I could talk about the second one. <laughs> yes. So you asked for two. Yes. Uh, so the second one. Because you did say it was a timeless tale. <laughs> I did. I did. It could go. It goes on forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the second one is for similar reasons. You know. Again. You know. This is. You know. It, it's so much. These. This two campaigns speak so much about you know, what the type of work we want to do and the type of agency we want to be. This, the, the second one is a campaign we called Sex Never Gets Old uh, for Replens. Uh, and, um, and, and it was an idea where we took on the taboo of intimacy at an older age. And, you know, we created a campaign that really in itself is a, is a celebration of love and intimacy, no matter what stage in your, in your life you're in. And we were able to uh, develop a campaign with, you know, to that, that got people to dedicate attention to it and look at it with the eyes that we want them to look at it. You know, it, it's a campaign that showcases couples of diverse ethnicities, sexuality, and ages, uh, and they, and they were shot in, you know, in a beautiful photographic style, uh, you know, very respectful, very authentically intimate, um, and celebrating. Uh, intimacy uh, at older at an older age, and again, it, it the way that it resonated. Not only you felt that you were communicating something, um, you know, very, you know, really strong and valuable, but you know, the way that it resonated, you couldn't have you couldn't have known how you were going to feel when you when you when when you were creating it, how you were going to feel with the reactions. You know, we had emails from uh, people from the target audience that, you know, that just moved us, moved us, moved our clients. I can't remember uh, some of them at the top of my head, but I remember reading them and feeling like we couldn't believe the results better than whatever awards it's, it's gotten. I think maybe Jamie or Kit, you remember one or two of them? I mean, cause they were, yeah. they were mind blowing. One of, the, one of the comments was, this is not just a campaign, it's a gift to humanity, which I think mm. is quite great. Yeah, oh. I mean, imagine. <laughs> yeah. Imagine when you hear something like that coming from the people you were communicating yeah. with, you know, coming, you're coming for. So, 
mind blowing. I mean, if we, you know, when, again, as Kit was saying, you know, that to us is walk through walls. That, that's the type of, that's the, that's the type of, of, of work and, um, and reactions and effect that we, we want to have with our work. That's what we shoot for. And what has been your biggest learning, aka the mistake from which you've learned the most? Ooh. <laughs> <Fast. laughs> Should I go first? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think one observation we have of the last five years is that it's really easy to be, you know, we've been so focused and like so driven. Um, that we haven't really stopped enough to celebrate the moments, you know, together um, as, a, as, as a team, as an agency. Um, so, you know, looking back, we think actually that's something we could have done a bit better on. It's so easy to be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll sort that out next week, or we've just got to get this next pitch out of the way. It's like, no, I think in the next five years, you know, we've made a real resolution that we're going to take the time and, and celebrate the successes and celebrate the wins um, at every stage of the way because it, it really matters it really matters um, to everybody um, and it, it just gives you yeah it's just important as human beings to to celebrate everyone's effort not always necessarily that we won but like the efforts that everybody put in so so yeah if the agency is watching this there's going to be a lot more of that um, <laughs> in the next five years and you can hold us to it yeah <laughs> And I think the second thing, which is not unrelated, but uh, it, it is we have definitely, we had, a, we had an instance last year where we have lost our way on occasions uh, and it particularly manifests itself when you're pitching. Um, what clients want in a very challenging context, I think increasingly is agencies that have a strong point of view and we have a strong point of view. You've heard, you know, what we, what our beliefs are founded on, mm. but we have, you know, a strong point of view from a, from a pitch point of view, from a, you know, from a client point of view, we always are coming with an informed view. Last year though, we totally lost our way and it was absolutely my fault. We were chasing, it was, no. it's always, no. it's always, it's always, always, it's always ultimately the account person's fault, but it really was my fault. We were chasing a big pitch. See, we, we, see we're disagreeing already, uh, right? See, we, I told you before we started. We were chasing, we were chasing a big pitch and um, we just kept wavering in our conviction over our view in line with the feedback we were getting from the client. And, and actually we ended up pitching and we didn't know whether we didn't know whether we were upside down the right way around, which way we, look, we were looking. And we inevitably we didn't win the pitch. So I think um, you know, but that experience made us a lot stronger and it made us, and we we now say this before we go everywhere. Do we believe what we're saying? Is it a strong point of view? And if it is, you know, we'll be able to go uh, and, uh, with it with absolute conviction. And you've got to have conviction. And when you lose it, it's a it's a very very bad thing. But if, you know, coming back from it makes you stronger. So, um, so the the moment of failure was losing our point of view and our conviction in it, and wavering and second guessing. Um, and you know, was the failure of the account man without his uh, his his real real people the point of view. But um, yeah. So we're stronger from learning from that, for sure. And finally, how do you see the agency in the next five years? Um, I, you know, I think it's 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 not revolutionary. It's it's building on the you know the strengths and the foundation that we have built. Uh, we would love to you know become a greater creative force with ideas that resonate globally in the way that, you know, Kit and Lucas have said, with the sorts of ideas that have a sort of universal and timeless appeal and really strike a human chord with people. And to do that, you know, ever more strongly with ever greater conviction at, at, at ever greater scale. So, you know, we just want to keep, um, keep building, um, not a revolution, but a, a strong incremental uh, sense of uh, strength and direction, I think. Yeah. And <clears throat> From my point of view, uh, obviously sharing, uh, you know, Jamie's vision as well. I, I see it with just more. I imagine it. You know, we dream about you know uh, our future with you know more great and diverse 
uh, talent joining us, wanting to join us and joining us uh, just to help us, you know, make our product, the product we need to be able to achieve what Jamie just described. Um, so, you know, we're going there. <laughs> yeah, there are an awful lot of walls for us to walk through. I don't think there's any danger of those of us running out of walls, whether that's, <laughs> you know, with regards to sustainability, you know, whatever. So as long as there's a wall in front of us, we'll, we'll, we'll keep running at them, I think. Great. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I can add anything better to that. So uh, feel free to edit that out if it isn't. But uh, I think, yeah, it's there's a real at our best. I think we've got a real swagger and a real style, and that's some of what Jamie was talking about when he said, you know, when we've got our point of view. Um, and I think for us, you know, having having found that groove, it's keeping hold of it um, and just you know doing it in ever bigger and ever better ways so yeah swagger and style is the is the motto for the next five years for me <laughs> well thank you so much for your time and for telling us about uh, the gate and all the best for your upcoming projects and uh, see you soon in the barbecue okay. looking forward to it thank you very much thank bye. you bye, bye.